Every once in a while, a community is blessed with a community servant, which will uh, serve on the local boards of your cities. Then they move up into a city commission, and then they will bite off the big enchilada. They'll go and they'll try to uh, get their way to Tallahassee because they figured out along the way it's wonderful to serve locally, but if you're really going to get something done, you got to speak with a bigger voice, and that bigger voice is in Tallahassee. That thoroughly describes uh, Evelyn Lynn's resume. Moving up through the House after eight years, and now Senator Lynn. Good morning, Evelyn. How are you doing? Good morning, Roland. Pleasure to be here. Glad to have you here, and I can't believe I'm here with my six-month anniversary, and it's the first time that you're here, but boy, the last six months have been busy for you. Very busy uh, between a tight budget and trying to come up with uh, satisfying people, which you can't do when you don't have money. And then, of course, the uh, the problems that we have in our communities. I serve four counties, and, and everywhere constituents are in need. There you go. What area do you actually serve as senator? I serve in uh, Volusia, Clay, Marion, and Putnam counties. Okay. And Clay County is west of the St. John's County, is that correct? Uh, no, uh, actually uh, west of Duval oh. and uh, actually okay. very close, to almost a bedroom community of Duval. Okay. Um, and uh, Jacksonville, right outside Jacksonville. Okay, very good. And we, you have a new senator to serve with now. Senator King has passed yeah. on to the... Uh, Big uh, dais in the sky, yes, and we have we'll miss him. we have John Thrasher now. Yes, and John's been a good friend of mine. I served under him when he was Speaker in the House, and he will be a tremendous asset because he is so knowledgeable about all the issues, and he'll just uh, come in running right from the start. So, being that your territories are boundary to boundary, uh, you have a good working relationship with oh, him. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. How will the dynamics be different with Mr. Thrasher compared to Senator King? Um, I think they'll be very similar, actually. I think their positions on uh, issues are very similar. Mm -hmm. And um, as I said, both are very knowledgeable because they were in the legislature for so long. Of course, I'm making the assumption that John Thrasher will go through the general election well, with yeah. whoever gets written in. So. Yeah, I think he's got two write-ins right now, but yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's just a matter of uh, going through the, the motions. The state of Florida is going through very trying times with their budget. Yes. Um, obviously, we the state is dependent upon sales tax. And it's obvious that many sectors of our business, uh, primarily construction, real estate, maybe the mortgage market itself, those things are down. So we only have that one source of income, which is the 6% sales tax. And then, of course, there's other ways. There's gasoline taxes. There's... There's uh, gambling revenues. There's other ways. It's not just solely state sales tax, but it's a very important part. Is the state looking at increasing its revenue by some, you know, formula? Is there a consideration for sales tax or would there be consideration for expanding gambling? Where are we at on trying to develop revenue if we are left with our own devices here? What's well, the answer to that? It's been very difficult at trying to uh, look at new sources of income, and, and certainly we are. Uh, but last year, uh, we tried to look at a variety of things. I had um, a bill that would have um, made sure that we collected the taxes that were due on Internet um, sales. Uh, when you're buying in a store or you anywhere else, you, you pay retail price and you pay a tax. And what, you should be really getting uh, that tax into the state when you buy on the internet as well. Mm -hmm. uh, same thing, uh, bottled water. Uh, we are letting big companies uh, take our water, bottle it, and sell it for a good sum of money. And uh, that's like buying soda. It's no different. You're buying a bottle of uh, cool drink. And uh, I tried to tax that. Had great support for it, but uh, this legislature, particularly in the House, more so in the House than in the Senate, but it's basically a no-tax legislature. Now, we did increase a number of fees. You will, I've, I've had my phones ringing off the hook with the uh, registration for um, vehicles, uh, also the, the tags, and uh, how unfair and how high the increase is. Plus, there are a variety of others, and people will only find out about those as time goes on fishing. But uh, fees seem to be okay as long as it's not called a tax. And I don't know. It's well, a it's tax. A tax is a tax is a tax. Exactly. You know, maybe, you know, in hindsight, I think we all look at the fact that, okay, if you were going to take a typical tag fee of $45 to $75, 
maybe we should have done that over a period of time, slide it up, and we maybe should have started that two or three years ago. Absolutely. We should have been working towards that. And I think that that's one thing that we will tax you with is looking at, okay, if the rates are going to have to go up, let's let's do it incrementally so we can so we can take care of that. Absolutely. It's a much better way to do it, and I think we were wrong in raising it so much at one time.